welcome yet again to my video blog. Thank you very much for coming here again. And I hope you've been creative and maybe creating some portraits. Now, last time we've been talking about the texture and how to choose your backdrop texture just for you and match it with your style. If you missed that video, I will place the link in the description so you can click on it and just go and watch it. And I, I suggest you to watch one because uh, you will know a little bit more about the texture and the backdrop. If you find this video is valuable, please don't forget to subscribe and click the like button. That will help more people to find these videos and get the value from them. And thanks for coming again, I really appreciate that, do you know? Let's roll! And again, you're ready to order the backdrop or you maybe have one which you don't really like. And yet again, I will tell you the same. Have the conversation with your inner photographer. When you wake your inner photographer, you will deconstruct the inspirational image you have. And you probably have one somewhere from the internet. So look on this photo and think how this look was achieved and what you need to change in your settings or which how light or dark backdrop you need to order to achieve actual look. So lighting will impact your backdrop color and backdrop texture as well as our luminosity. Consider the lighting placement depends on the look you want to achieve. For example, you might want to achieve the vignette. I don't want to make videos too long, so about lighting patterns we probably will talk in one of the next videos. More dramatic lighting will give you more prominent texture. Like I said before, lighting patterns I use, I will cover more in the next videos. In the meantime, please check David Shokri and Tommy Reynolds YouTube channels. We have a lot of useful information. Remember one simple rule, the light backdrop, it's much easier to make darker and dark lighter. Don't judge backdrop luminosity by naked eye. You're probably a portrait photographer, so you will be exposing for the face. So face, it will be your lightest part and the backdrop will go to the shadow. If you're in doubt, how light or dark backdrop need to be, always go for medium. Medium, it will be easiest backdrop to control. And when you're using artificial light, you rock. Because you're in control how light or dark backdrop will be. There's many different options how do you can light the backdrop. We will leave that for next video. I hope this video was valuable for you and you will not hesitate to click like and subscribe button to help others find this video and get the value from it. And thank you very much for watching my video. I'm really glad you came again. And I see you soon on the other side of internet cable once again. And remember, build your portfolio one image at a time.